Uh, first we're going to look at her Toyota pickup and then we're going to look at her Casita. Her Casita Freedom Deluxe. So Karen, welcome to the next video, to the tour video. And uh, tell us how you ended up living briefly, because uh, you told us in the in the interview, how did you end up living here in town in Santa Fe? I fell and sprained every major joint on the left side of my body while traveling in the Midwest in November. And my dear friend said, you cannot go spend the winter in the rough terrain where you usually do. You must come and live in my yard. So I said, yes, ma'am. And here I am. So it's just uh, <laughs> a necessity. Yeah. It's probably not your first choice to live in town. Not at all. But it's an opportunity to heal and also uh, to do a five-year purge of my stuff. Right. You've been on the road for five years now. Mm -hmm. And so, like most nomads, every nomad I know, uh, you slowly start to accumulate too much stuff. It's just amazing how that happened. So I have a little stuff in the storage unit, a little stuff in the truck. i got to go through it all so it can all fit, so I, all my belongings can fit in my rig. Everything I own has to fit in my vehicle, right? That's my rule from 40 years, 40 years that's been my rule. I've broken it a lot, but it's a good rule. It's a good rule. Yeah, yeah. I want to get back to it. So, but you did live in your Toyota briefly. I did, I did. So when I bought it, it didn't have the, the camper on it, but I thought I want, want a really high profile one so I can build a bed over the wheel wells and be able to sit up on my bed comfortably. Plus it'll hold more that way. So these are my sliders. So I did put um, rails on them. I put hardwood rails on. And all the way out it's the whole length of the truck bed so it gets really tippy at the end that's why I have the legs there we go yay so you did this for when you were living in it but now that you're living in the casita you also find it really handy for storage well it's great because I got I got trailer stuff and I got electrical stuff and I got I got my dresses and skirts in here. I don't wear them a lot, but you know, I got to have my dresses and skirts. But what I had to do, because I, I didn't want to be pulling them out and searching around, so I actually made a little list of what's where, what boxes are on what side and what order they're in. So I can pull out my little list and I know exactly where I'm going to go to find something. Oh, well, that is really a brilliant idea. So I found the basic plan online and, um, and I called my friend, my, my mechanical engineer in California, who actually talked me through building these. And that's it. Boom. Very good. And so you live in this casita. So tell us all about your casita. This is a 2002 um, Freedom Deluxe. They say it's 17 feet long, but I'm pretty sure that includes the the um, the trailer hitch part. The tongue, yeah. The tongue, right? So I take off three feet, and I say it's 14 that I live in. So and it's six feet wide. So I live in six by 14. That's 84 square feet. 84 square feet. It's way plenty. After the sta Saturn station wagon, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, you, you once lived in the Saturn station wagon. I almost get lost in here. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. <laughs> right, right. What year is it? It's a 2002. And, uh, and I bought it in 20, 2011. So I bought it when it was nine years old. I paid $7,500 for it. Which for a casita is good. And I was the third or fourth owner, but the previous owners barely used it. So it's like, kind of like new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the bed, which also turns into a bench and table, but I leave it as a bed. It's uh, big enough to be for a double bed, but I just have a single size mattress in here. So I have books and things over on the edge. So to get some more storage. Right. You've reduced the size of the bed. Right. And gained some storage on the back. Right. And um, and then we have this nice little shelf over here where I have my treasures. Did you put that in? No, that was there. Okay. Now it's not it's not fastened down, 
So, so of course, I put everything away when I go on the road. It goes in those two beautiful wooden boxes down there. It's almost uh, like an altar. It is. It's a, it's a pagan altar. Right. Right. And there's Teddy, my teddy bear that I got when I was born. You know, things like that. Um, I have lots of overhead storage, which is fabulous. I, it's just great. I mean, it's, it's pretty much all the way around. And um, so this is my kitchen. So this is where I keep my pots and pans. I inherited Mom's Revere Ware. Oh my, that's pretty old then. La-di-da, yeah, from the 50s. <laughs> and this is my dishes right here. Right. This, this is for the microwave, but I don't do microwave. So we turned it into the pantry. Very nice. Put a little shelf in there. Really good storage. That's the pantry. This is my fridge, which is kind of empty because I need to go shopping. It's got a great freezer. The freezer keeps ice cream really well. I've got my sink. And I just discovered that this cutting board fits perfectly across there. Mm -hmm. Which is really nice. Gives me a little bit more counter space and I can still use the water at the sink. Here's my stove. Two burner cooktop. This is brand new. The trailer comes with a, what do they call it, a vent hood? Yes. A vent hood that kind of sticks out and comes down to, it's like, it's big and it's bulky and it, it's in the way and I bonk my head on it and I can't see what's back there. So one of the modifications that a lot of casita owners do is they take that out and then just have a little vent right here and I can turn on my fantastic fan when I'm cooking and then down under there's lots of storage and instead of a drawer I figured out a way to make a drawer. I just got a cardboard box with stuff in. <laughs> that's my that's my drawer and then there's a layer of stuff down underneath and Your, uh, this furnace. is my furnace. And uh, you caretake at a place near here, in New, on, near Santa Fe. Yes. And they, you have plug-in there so you can have air, you run your air conditioner? I do. I do have plug-in there, yeah. And it, even though, I mean, that's like uh, above 5,000 feet, 6,000 feet, it gets so hot in the It still does, huh? Oh, man, yeah, like in the 90s. This, this is the crown jewel, I think. This is, this is the captain's chairs. They are so comfy. So the, you you don't have a dinette at all? Or the back is a dinette? The back is a dinette, but I don't need it. Right. I have, have this. this right here. And this is from the factory? Yeah. What comes from the factory? Yeah, I did I did change the upholstery. Oh, oh it's I did. beautiful. I found this at an upholstery shop um, or a fabric sh shop in Albuquerque and had these covers made when I was in California. So more storage. Uh, for jammies and you know winter scarves and stuff um treasures gotta have treasures and since we have this rat fur on the wall mm -hmm. the way that i hang my treasures is i use these um drapery hooks which are very very handy they just hook into that foam behind the carpet mm -hmm. right and i don't hang anything heavy right but i can hang a lot of stuff and then i thought well, on the road, sometimes I spend the night in Walmart parking lots, which are very, very bright. So, I, I'm i not a big fan of mini blinds, but I kept them because they block out some of the light. But then I got these Eclipse curtains. And these block out light, and they're also thermal. So I put drapery hooks in these and just run them along the hardware for the mini blinds. Uh -huh. So I can close these at night. And then close them all the way across and then tuck the top in there. And then I ran elastic down along the bottom of the window. I ran elastic and I just tuck this into the elastic. And it kind of Velcros itself to the carpet on the wall. That was a really nice job. And then I tuck that in so no cold breezes come in there. And I do that all the way around at night. Yeah, so it blocks out the light, blocks out the cold. Yeah, in the winter. Nice job. Yeah. And then... For this problem... Reflectix. Yes, love it. Just Velcros up here at night. So I don't have that glaring... 
light shining down on right. me. Right. Right. And, and if it's cold, it'll yeah keep yeah. help it keep warm too. Right. And I have a little reflectix for my bathroom vent, and a little reflectix that goes on my bathroom window. So this is the bathroom, and the bathroom actually comes with a door. The bathroom door opens like this. So then the the bathroom door is like suddenly in front of this chair. Right. And if you keep it closed, they have a big mirror on it. So you watch yourself live your life in your trailer. And I just didn't like anything about it, so I took it off. One of the questions I ask everyone is, do you use your tanks in your bathroom? Not much. Not much. Right now, of course, I'm living in the, the front yard of a house. Right. So I'm using the that bathroom in the house. But, uh, you know, I got my buckets. And actually, today, I went and bought some of this. This is pipe insulation. Yes. Oh, okay. Huh? Yes, to go around the rim in case, in case, because it's a, it's, it's one bathroom basically. Yeah. In case I can't get in there and I really can't wait, now I'll have a comfy place to do my business. Right. To poop. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for mentioning this <laughs> in your videos. <laughs> and my gray tank, I sometimes use I, I just run a hose out of the gray tank and just you know I'll, I'll i'll save up enough gray water and then i'll just open the valve and i'll just water the trees around me and spread it around yeah right yeah share it around to the pinyons and the junipers that are near my trailer and it's a wet bath which means that the whole bathroom is the shower stall right but um if you want to poke your head in there with the camera you'll see that i have a lot of bins on either side of the toilet so that's, you know, vitamins and personal care items and stuff like that. So I have a plastic curtain um, that I rigged up on the inside and those little hooks that are stuck to the wall on suction cups. So I can I can curtain off that side of the bathroom that's got all the storage tubs in it so, so stuff doesn't get wet over there. So they can stay in there. Yeah, so they stay put. I don't have to move them. Yeah. One of the things I've always been impressed with is how large the, the bathroom is. In a casita. I mean, I, to, to my mind, I mean, some yeah. of them are so tiny, yeah. a normal person cannot use them. I even have a wardrobe closet, and that's where my mirror is. We put a mirror on here ah. instead. Makes so more I can sense. still see, make sure I look okay, you know. <laughs> you gotta do that. <laughs> I got, we and all I, want that. And I got these things for t shirts and, and little stuff, and I still have room for coat hangers right. on the side. Well, a casita is just an amazing little uh, little home. It is. Uh, and you've made it so really wonderful. It's very pleasant feeling. It's got a, a warm, loved-in feeling. Mm -hmm. I am a very visual person. And somewhere along the line, I realized that what I enjoy is like seeing beauty everywhere I look. So, <laughs> so I try to apply that to my living space. And it's full of treasures uh, from my travels. That's what life's all about. People have gotten yeah. so confused with... Uh, accumulating things when in fact memories are what life is all about. So how are you, uh, now a lot of the times when you're caretaking you're ho or with a friends you're hooked up, uh, but when you're traveling how do you get electricity? Well actually as much as possible I really like to use my solar panel. Um, I, I think it's 80 or 90 watt solar panel um, and it's not mounted. I don't have any roof that I can mount it on so it's just, I just take it out and plug it in. Um, it runs everything. All my lights are LEDs. It runs everything except for the refrigerator and the air conditioner. But the fridge is a three-way, so I can just put it on propane right? and be completely off-grid. And I like that. So, Karen, thank you so much for sharing your home with us and your life. I just really appreciate it. I think a lot of people are going to be inspired by your mm -hmm fearless uh, embracing of a joyful life. I hope so. Um, I think I think it's going to be impact a lot of people. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And for you all out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, watching on my channel. Like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.